guys, this is Amber Sinclair with exciting news. I have been excited all day after around 2-ish when I heard about it. Um, around 2 in this afternoon of today, baby Elora is finally into the world, everybody. So yes, she is here. We're super excited. She weighed 8 pounds and 3 ounces. Um, right now, my cousin's at the hospital, relaxing, enjoying her and baby are nice and healthy. Hopefully her husband is there and not out and about or doing anything. Um, so hopefully her husband is not going to be going to work for the past few days because he needs to be there for the baby. Um, I'm eating popcorn, so that's why I'm super excited too. Eating some skinny pop. So, Gabe over there is passed out. He got to hang out with a Paul today. So, like, he's, uh, when I picked him up, he, he wasn't really so happy about, um, going home today. So now here I am at home waiting for my husband to get home So because he's off right now. So hopefully um, I get to see my husband. So I'm super excited and I'm in a good mood. He's going to be excited about that because the past few days I was in like a very, very bad mood too. Like yesterday I was in a bad mood because my phone got unplugged and I only had 50% battery and I was like, Dang, Josh needs to stop touching my phone. Like, don't do that. If it's not 100%, don't touch it. And then I kept doing other things for him, and I just got, like, really upset and aggravated, and I just pretty much snapped and told him, like, you know, I do all this stuff for you, and you don't even do anything for me anymore. Like, why? And he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, well, you don't take me to a nice, fancy restaurant anymore. You don't, like, do anything else with me. It's like, he's having me freaking rub your feet and rub your back, and I don't get any return favors for it. And he's like, well, we can't afford going out on a nice date. I'm like, so that's because you're buying things we're not supposed to. I didn't tell him that. I just, like, ignored him and just, like, started getting upset even more. And I cried for about, like, five minutes. But it was just really, really stressful yesterday. And then this morning I was in a bad mood, too, because I was just still pissed off about it. So, and then I was, like, worried about my cousin, like, having the baby. And then around 2 o'clock, I was like, in a good mood now, and now I'm in a good mood. So, husband's going to be excited. I'm going to be like, well, you don't have to worry about me being in a crabby mood, because I'm in a good mood, because new baby is here. I'm super duper excited. So, I'm just relaxing and enjoying myself. So, I don't know what else to say. So, I'm going to listen, put some music on my phone, and I will catch you guys later, um, and maybe, and maybe, um, Monday, I'm trying to, like, chew and eat, Monday, um, we have a barbecue for Memorial Day, so we're gonna... So, we're going to be able to... Watching Paw Patrol. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. But, Monday is Memorial Day. We are doing a barbecue. So, we will be doing um, some awesome other things like doing... so. I'll be going over there to do what I need to do. I'll see the new baby. <coughs> so, I will catch you guys later. And maybe the rest of this weekend for some videos. Have a great day. Goodbye.